Hello everyone, welcome back. So in this session today we are going to see how we can close the multiple browser windows which opened by using the new web drive new window or your whenever you are clicking any link or anything that pops up multiple browsers. So in our previous session we have seen that how to handle multiple browsers like how you can switch to individual windows based on certain criteria and how will you verify the different methods or different business flows and then you can come back to the main window. But we did not discuss about how do we really close the extra opened or the multiple browser windows that got opened in any of the means that is what we are going to see today. Now for an instance think about this whenever we are clicking on this particular link right if I show you here, this pops up two windows actually here. Okay, so th th there's two more windows it is opening. Now when we say browser dot close, right, it will be closing all the browser windows, even your parent window also it will be quitting there. Okay, so there is a specific method that we need to use, which will make individual closing those browsers. Okay, so let me show you that. And if you see there is something called as a close window. Now let's read this close window command closes the current top level browsing context browsing context in the sense which browser window your current browser object is holding there. Once done if there are no more top level browsing open the web, the web driver session itself is closed. It means that it will close the current particular browser window but the browser still stays the control into that window only okay so i will show you actually this one what is happening here so let's consider our previous example only where you need to click on this link and after that let's say that you are clicking on this multiple actually here so this you are clicking it where you are having multiple browser handles you are getting and i'm taking the same example here which we took so let's say that I want to traverse through through the all the browser windows here. So I'll take the same concept only. I won't be going to my parent window here. If you see this, so I'm switching to a particular window. After that, let's say that I will do browser dot. I'll say close window here, close window. And after doing this closing window, so normally what I thought is that after I'm closing this, the browser will automatically go to my parent window. I don't need to write it. Or maybe if there are, let's say that three or four windows opened, it closes the first, the current one where the browser is now holding. After that, it will move to another browser window. But in reality, it didn't go there. I'll prove that. So think about now I'm doing this one, right? I'll do one thing. Uh, I'll switch to this one. And I will console log. I will console log this one and I will say await browser dot get title. Okay. I'm doing this one. After this, I'll close that window and I will perform the same console log only here. And here I'll say after closing current window some name I'm giving so that I can see the difference of getting the title actually. Then I will be going to my parent window because here I've written as not right. Now let's run this. And you can see quickly it thrown me an error actually. What it is saying, no search window, target window already closed. Now see if I see this before to this, you can see it gave me a result actually because the first window that it switched right that title is QAB box but after that when it closed that window it means that the browser lose its context actually there is no browser window opened but there are other browser windows are there but the browser which was holding the current browser window that got lost means there is no browser object stayed actually now. 
it means that now we need to explicitly switch back to another window actually that is the main concept so here what i'm going to do whenever it is closing this one right you shouldn't be using any of this browser like browser methods actually here you have to after immediately closing a window you have to immediately switch to a, the next available window it means that if i comment this one in this case what will happen the circle will be going back the loop will be continue okay because see here you lost the control of the current browser context but there is no browser action you need to do unless you do the switch to window now let me show you this after closing this everything it will be looping it and also after switching my parent window this also should give me a particular my parent window here so await browser dot get title okay here i will be showing everything now let's run this code and see what happens and you can see one by one it is closing actually now it will close this window yes now you should see three browser windows titles actually the first this loop only will give you the extra windows that got created actually and you can see qab box demo after that it went to the about me and then at the end it gave me the parent window so it means that uh, always whenever you are closing window you shouldn't be considering that the browser will automatically switch back to the next available window you have to explicitly switch to that okay so that is what you have to keep it in mind whenever you are making a close window and when you say browser dot close it will immediately close everything actually there is uh, no problem in that okay so uh, i think that was a quick session where i wanted to give you actually the information about close window and what we need to take care of that when you are using this particular method so hope this session is useful uh, do subscribe to this youtube channel stay tuned we will be seeing some more interesting topics thank you for watching